every startup starts with an idea. For Muneeb Mushtaq, that idea was born while trying to find a plumber for his mother's leaky faucet. After overpaying for bad service, Muneeb created askfortask.com. Amanda recently spoke to Muneeb, the founder and CEO of the site, and she started by asking him how exactly it works. Ask for Task is an online platform where Canadians can go and post their daily tasks or errands online and get help from people in their neighborhood. So it could be anything ranging from house cleaning to lawn mowing to actually delivering any sort of stuff that you have. So you can just post it online, name your price, and then you will start getting offers and you can just select one and they'll do the task for you. How did you come up with the idea? Where did it, what was its genesis? So uh, we came up with that idea in a pretty interesting way. So almost two years ago, I was sitting in my living room and my mom was washing dishes in, in the kitchen and all of a sudden she broke down the faucet. So it was a huge mess, but she asked me to actually find a plumber. So I went to uh, Craigslist to actually find someone, and all I saw was a bunch of listings for service providers. I couldn't really find the right price or how much they wanted or what were their reviews. Landed up, landed up on one of the people. Uh, they came in and I ended up spending three times of what I expected to spend. And the job wasn't done well, so I wanted to leave a review about the guy, but I couldn't. So I didn't really want anyone else to go through that, so we created a platform that was more local and trustworthy. And so what kind of tasks wind up on Ask for Task? Oh, there's tons of varieties that we see every day. So on a regular basis, one of the most popular tasks that we see are home cleaning, so cleaning around the house, your bedroom, kitchen, and everything. The next important one, since the summer is coming in, is garage cleanup and moving. So we see tons of tasks getting posted where people are want help with this stuff. And so what is the, the model for the people that have the ability, in other words, I, I can go clean somebody's house, how do I find out about this? It's all on the same platform? Exactly. So the way it works is that uh, if you are interested in running the task, you would be called tasker. So what taskers do is when they're creating the profile, they tell us what are the specific skills or what are the specific interests they want to actually get notifications on. So as soon as a task is posted in their area, they get a notification via email and they can literally can go in there and place an offer. And what is the model for you in terms of how you make money off this transaction? Excellent question. So the way we actually make money is that, uh, so when an asker, the person who's posting the task, when the, when the task is posted and gets assigned to a specific tasker, we keep 15% from the tasker's perspective. And so and you obviously have to build a community for this to really work. How quickly does that happen in any one? Because it's very local, right? If I'm going to clean yes. somebody's house, it's going to be down the street, not across yes. the city, presumably. Well, uh, the way it works is that um, it, it's based on local help, but sometimes people can actually commute from one city to another to help out someone as well, based on what kind of task it is and what's the value of it. So currently we have over 100,000 Canadians actively using Ask for Task throughout Canada. Uh, we launched... Uh, one year ago, uh, when we were open to six cities, but due to overwhelming demand from everywhere, we had to launch in 100 cities. <laughs> wow. And how big do you think it gets in that case, if that's sort of the growth rate that you've seen? Uh, can you manage what might happen? Uh, the thing is, we only have to hit 35 million Canadians, right? So uh, I think the potential is huge. and. It's the main strength for us is word of mouth. So people use it once and then recommend it to their family and friends and they learn about it. And pretty much everyone in the economy comes under our demographics. So, you know, either you're too busy with your life and you can actually, you know, get someone's help or you have some time in your hand and want to make some extra money. So that way you can do that as well. Is the strength of the system, uh, the referral and the review process, a little bit like TripAdvisor, uh, mm -hmm. where you could get the information somewhere else, but you're actually relying on the community to evaluate who's good and who isn't? Exactly. So. Uh, what happens is that so once someone is hired to do a job, uh, they do the when the once the job is complete, the asker leaves a review. So based on how much how did they perform, they're ra rated based on that. So you know a star rating, and then you know this guy was awesome. I'm definitely going to recommend it. So what happens is that that pretty much represents or acts like a resume for that person. So next time he goes in and make a, makes an offer on another task, it's easier for him to get hired based on the positive reviews. Now, you looked on Craigslist when you were looking for something. What keeps a, a well-established site like that from creating a section that's exactly this? What's the barrier to entry here? I think the best thing about having a startup is that you can move really fast. So. Uh, the organizational layers don't exist, so you know whenever we are faced with a challenge, we can easily be resilient and adaptable about it, and then just change whatever it's happening. What I think is uh, Craigslist, they're already getting so much traffic. I'm not really sure if they would really care about getting into this thing, because 
this basically is running on more of a local basis. So, you know, like even though we expand into newer regions, it would always be, you know, just neighbors helping neighbors. All right, we gotta leave it there. We appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Coming up after the break, a bar in Tokyo that's trying to cut down on